Hello, welcome to Restorative Yoga. And the purpose of today's class is for total relaxation and stress relief. So um, I'm really hoping that that is the effect that you get from this. Um, we're gonna be 100% on the floor. Props are gonna do all the work. So this is a very passive practice as well. So for the prop, I've got, let's see, I've got six blankets here. I'm also sitting on one. You probably will not need that many blankets. I've just got this many because I'm gonna show you different options um, for some different things to make sure you are as comfortable as possible. Um, same thing with the block. Um, I'm gonna show you an option, um, an elevated bolster option on one of the poses. Um, if the option that I'm gonna demo is not for your back, um, so that's really all we're going to use the block for. You can also accomplish that same goal, folding up your blankets, and I will show you that as well. So speaking of folding up a blanket for one of the options, I'm going to go ahead and prep one of these blankets for that. So I'm just going to undo this one here, and I'm going to come up onto my knees to show you because I don't want to cover my face. But I've got this blanket. Good, and I have folded it in half here, long way. So what I'm gonna do here is then taking this long, I'm going to roll this up. So it kind of looks like a foam roller in some aspects, but not quite. So um, I'm just gonna put this to the side. We're gonna use this one a little bit later in our practice but it's nice to just go ahead and have it prep um, before we get going. All right, so right before we get going here, I'm just gonna go ahead and come off this blanket. Let's put it right up here. Okay. Let's just do a couple little side stretches here, loosen up a little bit before we come into some deeper stuff. So zipping up, we're nice and tall, big inhale, exhale, take a side bend over to the left and just reach, you just go to your limit, find what you need. Now, I'm not going to give you an intention today. I want this to be total relaxation. So you're going to be in charge of your own intention. We'll be holding some of these for several minutes to foster that relaxation. So um, I will be bringing back reminders for you to come back to your intention and to breathe deeply. But I'm not going to disturb your relaxation and your intention. Good. What I find relaxing in my intention might not be the case for you. So from here, just get a gentle twist. You can take your head and neck anywhere that feels good to you. And we'll come up and just take that right into the other side. Roll the shoulders back. Moving things around a little bit here. Good, and then from here, maybe just get a little bit of a spinal roll, maybe get some shoulder rolls in here, whatever feels good. All right, so this first one, we're gonna do a child pose with a bolster, child pose with a bolster. Now, those of you that do not have a bolster, which is this nice cushion here, it's very versatile. Um, it's, I can use it for many things. Um, this is basically just a really sturdy cushion or a really sturdy pillow. So for this, you can stack several pillows on top of each other. If you've got a lot of blankets, like you see that I have stacked over here, you can also stack several blankets on top of each other to create a bolster if you need that. And I'm going to give you another option here. So I am going to use my bolster, but some of us... <clears throat> maybe be really stiff in the knees or stiff in the hips and maybe taking the hips back this far um, is not real comfortable for you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna build up this bolster. So you can take one or two blankets on top, just like that. Good. And so then when you're here, good, you're not as far back and you can relax a little bit more here, okay? So always, always help yourself with what your body needs. I am a little tight in my hips, so I'm actually gonna leave a blanket here. And then from here, good, I'm just gonna come forward. Good. And we're just gonna be here for two minutes. Good. And I'm actually, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna take my knees a little bit out to the side. So you don't wanna be way up here if that's happening. Take your knees out to the side a little bit. 
or build up your bolster. And about halfway, I will let you know to turn your head. You can close your eyes here and just take some nice, big, deep, expanding breaths. You don't even need to engage your abdominals here unless you just want to. Just let, let the blanket, let the bolster, the cushion, whatever it is you're using. Just give you the support that you need. And when you're ready, just turn your head to the other side. And just let the shoulders release here. It would feel good to take the knees out a little bit wider like I just did. Let them do that. Big breath. Deep in that intention close by. And so then from here, good. Carefully and slowly come out. So as you become more relaxed in these poses, you never want to really just snap out and go to the next one. So do move slow. Do move slow. The next one we're going to do is a pigeon with a bolster. So there's different ways you can do this. So I'm going to support my upper body again with this bolster. And I'm actually going to... I think leave this on here. That just felt really, really good today. Okay. Now I'm also going to support my lower body. So there's a couple ways you can do that. And it's all dependent on how your body is in the pigeon. So I'm going to take this blanket. It's kind of a quarter fold blanket here. <clears throat> Probably called something else. I'm just going to call it quarter fold. Good. So from here, I'm going to come into my pigeon just like I would. So I'm going to start my right knee. It's going to come maybe towards that right wrist here. And then I've got an angle in this shin. So my right heel is in the direction of my left hip. So I've got this blanket here that's straight across. So my whole pelvis is supported. And then from here, I'm going to support the upper body by coming in here. Now, different things for different people. Maybe you need two blankets under here instead of one. Maybe you like to have this one here. You like the support on the left side, but maybe you feel like you need a little bit more support on this right side. So once you have this blanket here, you can fold it up again good, and just tuck it in, which is actually how I'm going to do it today, and then come into your pigeon that way. So now everything is supported. There's not typically a need here to come into a figure four position when everything is supported and safe. Um, so once you've got that, we're gonna try this three minutes. Hang on a second here. One, two, three, good. So once we're in here for about a minute and a half, again, I'll have you switch directions with your head here and breathe. So even though the props are doing the work, again, sometimes, you know, maybe we feel a little bit um, that the leg goes to sleep or something like that. If that happens, carefully come out. Don't stay there if the leg goes to sleep. And breathe. My left leg is stretching straight behind me. Big breath.
Return to intention. Let it all go into the prop. Think of your props as your support system during this practice. When you're ready, you turn the head to the other side. Let me go of what isn't serving you, what no longer serves you, and eat good at all. Let me go of what isn't And from here again, slowly with hair, and then carefully come up. Good. I'm going to remove this blanket out from underneath my pelvis. And then I'm just going to come to all fours for a minute and then just reach that right leg back. And when you're ready, we're going to do that all again on the other side. So I'm going to reset my blanket. Now on this side, I know my body. Um, I know myself today. So I know on this particular side, my tighter side, I'm going to need double blankets here. So I'm going to bring in another one. Just put it right on top. And then I'm just going to set myself up in that nice pigeon position. So taking my left knee more forward. Good. This heel is going to come more towards the hip. So I've got a little bit of a 45-ish degree angle. It's not straight across. You can adjust these as you need to. Good. And on this side, I don't need to fold up um, on the right side to stick more under the left because I've got enough support with these two blankets being right here. So always, again, support yourself as you need the support. Good. Pull these in. Good. And then from here, good. We'll go for three minutes. Good. Big breath. Big expansion. Thinking into your support. When you're ready, we'll take that head to the other direction. Mm 
coming back to the bed at the end of there. Are you ready? Yeah, again. We're going to carefully slowly come up and out of here. I'm going to move the blankets out of the way. I'm going to all fours and I'm going to take that left leg long behind me. One of my favorite things about restorative yoga, and I do do this often, is that as long as you're wearing comfortable clothes, you don't have to have like an official yoga outfit. I do yoga um, restorative practices often quite a bit in my pajamas because let's face it, at the end of the day, I'm most comfortable in my pajamas. So, um, you know, whatever makes you comfortable, um, just go there. Okay, so this next pose is what I had to make the roll for. So, I'm gonna give you some different options with this one. So let me show you the modification option first, um, just for the sake of time. So what I'm gonna do here when I do this one is I will be sitting here and lying all the way back here, okay? Um, well, looks like this, <clears throat> just as an example, okay? Not everybody's back responds very well to that position. And so for those of you, especially where maybe you've got something going on, an extension is a challenge for you, or maybe something that you shouldn't really be doing, um, then I'm going to recommend that you elevate um, your bolster or whatever you're using as a cushion here. So you're coming at an angle. So you can lie back a little bit, get that nice um, relaxation, but taking that pressure off the back, taking the extension out of it, or the deeper extension rather. So if you've got blocks, there's a couple things you can do. So you can take one block this way. Your second block is going to be flat, and they're going to be touching each other. And then you can take your bolster cushion or a stack of blankets, whatever it is that you're using here, um, and get So now you've got a nice supported um, angle. If you want to come up a little bit higher with this angle, then just change um, the positioning of this back block here. These blocks will not um, touch together, but they will be closer together. And then you've got a little bit of a higher angle here, okay? Um, so that's a nice modification for those of you um, that have blocks or need that. And again, if you don't have your block, just as an example, um, you know, here's some folded blanket um, that you can use you know, to kind of help you get that prop up here, um, if that's what you have. So take note of what it is you have, do what you need to do. Now I am also going to take one of my blankets and place across here for a little bit of a headrest. This can also be done if you're doing a prop up here. This feels a little bit better to the neck um, when I have that. Some of you will, some of you won't need, excuse me, to sit on a blanket, a folded blanket as well, um, versus the bottom. But I am going to 
take a blanket to each side here because I want that as a nice relaxation um, for my arms once I get here. So I've got that on either side. Good. Now, once you've got all of this set up here, you're going to take your roll. And the roll is an option, but I will show you why I like this roll. If you don't have a whole lot of props, the roll is nice um, because it helps you can do um, what two blankets might do. You can do with one. So I'm taking my feet together here, just like I would be in a cobbler's pose in a regular yoga class. I'm gonna take that blanket right on top of the feet here, and then I'm just gonna wrap and tuck here. Good, and then as my knees come out to the side, they've got that support, okay? So if this isn't something um, that you wanna do again, you can get your knee support, holding up blanket, sticking under here, um, taking pillows under there, whatever it is that you have, I should also say choose wisely what you're gonna do. We're gonna be here for about five minutes to really foster that relaxation. So that being said, once you're ready, we can come back. Good. So now I've got my blanket um, here. And since we're gonna be here, I'm even gonna take another blanket and I'm gonna place that blanket right across my hips. This is very grounding. Some people like it. Um, right across the top of the body. Some people like to completely cover up, you know, just like you have covers. So find what you need here. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. Good, to be comfortable. Good, and just find your bliss. Sinking in. Big deep breaths. And you know, while I'm here, I'm just kind of being led by the universe to do a little bit of a relaxing pranayama here. So let's take a moment. Let's inhale for three, exhale for six. Exhale to prepare. Inhale and expand. One, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, Continue with this breath on your own, a different type of breath, or just be.
whatever breath you choose. Try to get some nice big expansion of the rib cage. And noticing if the body tries to sink a little bit deeper into your support system, with the props with each exhale. Turning to the intention. Okay. And then from here, when you're ready, again, so we were here for about five minutes. So just take some deep breaths again, but open the eyes, gently wiggle the fingers and the toes, maybe taking head and neck from side to side, maybe gently, gently bringing the knees back up. If you took any um, blankets for a little bit of weight across the belly or the chest, carefully remove those. If it would feel good to um, take the knees from side to side, go ahead and do that. And then in your own time, in your own way, carefully bring yourself up out of there. So I came straight up. Others might do well turning over to your side and coming up to a seat from there. So choose how always um, what's best for your body. So from here, we're gonna start to come onto our backs again, um, a little bit differently. Good. So we're done with this roll. Unless you know you want to use it for something later for Shavasana, um, you can just put that out of the way. I'm going to restack some of my blankets here just to get them out of the way. The one that we just did is one of my favorite positions. And then from here, we're gonna come into a supine twist, which means a twist where we're on our back. And I'm gonna use my bolster to support my leg when I do that one. So I will turn to you first. This can also be done again, you know, with um, folded blankets as your support. Um, so always use what you need. I'm actually gonna take one of my blankets here and use the head and neck support here. Good. So as you come onto your back, just finding that support. And I'm going to reset our timer here. We're going to go for two minutes. Good. So from here, we're just going to move the bolster down. Good. I'm going to take, I'm going to turn it to my left because that's the side facing you. So I'm going to take my left leg long. Good. I'm going to bend my right knee. Good. And then I'm going to twist towards the left. So when I come over here, good. And you can adjust your hips as you need to. I've got my whole knee. Um, part of my thigh, my shin, and my foot is resting on this support. Okay, so kind of find what you need there. And don't worry so much if the left shoulder is lifted a little, or right shoulder rather, is lifted a little bit here. Um, if I've got a private client and I'm doing this one, I will come and um, kind of tuck in any space. Um, that I have with that client so that they can be completely supported. But when you're by yourself, you have to kind of just do what you need to do. I 
and finding breath again. Return to intention. So from here, carefully, remember, we move slowly to come out of something. As you come out of here, take your hip back even um, to the rest of the body. And then just for a moment, grab behind the knees and the legs if you can. Give maybe just a gentle tug in, finding a little length and release. And then we're gonna take that to the other side. So again, my left side is a little bit tighter. When I move this bolster to the other side, good. I'm gonna take a blanket on top of that bolster just so I have a little bit more support that I need for the side. So again, you can always build up as needed for your own body's needs. So then from here, good. I'm gonna take my right leg long. I'm gonna bend my left knee in. And I'm going to twist to my right. And as I do that, again, you'll see me shift my hips. And that's okay. Good. And again, I'm going to just try to come a little bit more open. Works a little bit differently and restorative than it does in a more active yoga practice. Breathe. Big, deep breaths. And so then again, carefully, in the way that's best for you, come back to center, taking the hips back to center. One more time, taking knees into the chest. Good, find that little link. You can wiggle, wiggle, wiggle here. 
And the last one we're gonna do here before Shavasana is a supported bridge, a supported bridge. So I'm gonna move this blanket off of my bolster and then move this other blanket here. Um, what you're gonna do here, and you can also do this with a folded blanket, good. If you're gonna lift up, good. And you want your whole pelvis to be on your bolster, your folded blanket, whatever it is that you're using here. All you've got is a block. You can also put a block here. I recommend the lowest setting. And then you've got this nice supported um, little inversion. There is one more option that you can do here. And if you do that one, you want to make extra sure that the blanket is under the shoulders, not under the head and the neck. The head and the neck are free, but you can take a blanket this way or this way. Good. Your shoulders will be right up against um, the edge of the blanket. So it'd be like this. <clears throat> Good. And then my head and neck are hanging off the blanket. They are not supported by this blanket at all. Okay. Some people like that. I do not in this particular um, position, um, but I do like to offer it because I know that there's people that like it. So from here, good. I'm just going to bring this back in. Good. Good. And so now I'm nice and supported. And we'll be here for another couple minutes as well. I recommend keeping the knees bent here. Big breaths. Notice the energy shift. You don't like the feet on the floor, you can also take them straight up in the air, modify legs up the wall. Nothing ever wrong with that. Turn to intention. Returning the breath, return to intention. And again, gently take head and neck from side to side. And if you had a blanket underneath the shoulders, feel free to wiggle that out. So my Shavasana practice here is bolster underneath my knees or behind my knees. So it's very convenient from here just to lift my hips and just push my bolster down. Good. And then I can extend my legs long over here. Good. Now, again, different things for different people. I'm just going to show different things. Um, I'm barefoot here. I forgot to wear my socks today. So I'm actually going to take a blanket and place over um, my, the exposed parts of my legs and my feet um, so they don't get too cold while I'm trying to relax. Um, so some people like that. And for some people, the weight of that can also be very grounding. I'm going to bring in a blanket here for a little bit of a neck pillow. Good. And then I'm going to bring in another blanket here. I'm going to place it right across my belly. And then I'm going to take another blanket and I'm actually going to cover up with it. So, or at least cover my arms with it. So we're going to be here for several minutes. So you want to make sure you get comfy where you are. 
but again, facilitate um, that. So it looks kind of like this. I've got the blanket over the feet. I've got my blanket here. My bolster is under my knees. Good. I'm just going to kind of cover this right here and then take the top part. Try to be a little bit slick here. I think it's going to work. Let me read it. And again, you can also bring in a blanket. Look at that. I'm actually going to use all but one blanket today underneath the arms for additional support and comfort. Come all the way under here. Good. And then from here, when you're ready, good. Now I will turn on um, this timer just because I don't want to kind of get too relaxed and then miss it. So we're going to be here for four minutes. Four minutes. So once you get nice and comfy, okay, we'll be right here. Again, returning to a good breath. One more time, return to your intention.
taking some deep breaths here. Taking a moment, maybe gently take head and neck from side to side. And then a deeper breath, maybe a moment, a little bit of a wiggle of the fingers and the toes. Maybe a little bit here, I'm gonna move the blanket out from under my belly. Good, so I can take my feet to my bolster and then maybe bring them into the chest. And then from here, taking all the time that you need, moving any props out of the way, good. carefully turn over to your right or left side the side that works best for your body. And it's okay to still stay covered up if you took a blanket option like I did and just be here for just a moment or as long as you need. This is a pose that I highly recommend working up to 10 minutes a day to do. You can do it in the bed. Set a timer if you're doing it in the middle of the day and can't quite you know, necessarily fall asleep and Take a big long nap. Your body will thank you and everybody is worth 10 minutes a day. Everyone's worth 10 minutes a day to relax. And then from here, when you're ready, press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Noticing for a moment how you feel. Fingertips to the side. Let's lift up nice and tall. Reach, reach, reach. And then from here, we'll stop those thick thumbs right in front of the forehead for good and true thoughts. To the lip for good and kind words. And to the heart for open and loving heart. Knowing no effort on this mat is ever wasted. No gain is ever reversed. May you be safe. May you stay well. May you find relaxation in your daily life. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.